Well, first of all, we also need to ask the question, if we continue to take the 67.5 billion euro from the EU IMF, and remember that 35 billion of that there is going to be injected into toxic banks, into banks. So it's not there to pay pensions, it's not there to pay guards, it's not there to pay our council workers. 35 billion of it, the majority of the bailout is actually going into banks. And how are we going to... Yeah. Well, it's still working, like Bank of Ireland, Allied Irish, and... And, 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 and not all of that's going to be going in. Well, the 35 billion actually is for the recapitalization of the banks, uh, and that is part of the, the bailout that was agreed in November. And that, that, that is the difference between Sinn Féin and what the other political parties are saying, because we would not put any more money, of taxpayers' money, into toxic banks such as the Anglo Irish Bank. It is, it is not right to do it, it is morally wrong to do it, and it is, it is bad economics. We have the money in this state through the National Pension Reserve Fund, which the government want to use that money, an additional 10 billion and put it into these banks. And we have the money through uh, the Exchequer Fund and the Central Bank. In total, those two funds amount to over 30 billion euro. Now, the deficit this year is 18.7 billion euro. And there is some sovereign bonds maturing in the region of 4.5 billion. So this state needs, for this year, 22 billion euro. And we have 30 billion without the support of the IMF EU. So what we're saying is that yeah, let's use the reserves that we have, which doesn't deplete them in, in, in their totality, but let's use the reserves we have to fund our, uh, the exchequer deficit this year. Let's, in the meantime, separate our national debt from our banking debt. Let's cut off the, the, the private banking debt and from, from our national debt. Let the guarantee introduce a banking resolution bill that will say, protect depositors in all of the banks and, and nationalise AIB and Bank of Ireland. Remove the bad debts from AIB, the non-performing loans from those banks, and, and put them into a bad bank. And let's wind down those bad banks. Let's wind down those bad banks. And that is where the bondholders take the hit. It is wrong for people to be asked, as this government did in December uh, of last year, to take in total about 873 million euro of cuts in social welfare payments. Yet last week. The government, through our nationalised bank, Anglo Irish Bank, paid one bondholder 750 million euro, and that bond wasn't even guaranteed by the state. That is what is wrong. The finance is here to run our state, and what we need to do is we need to convince the international bond markets that we are able to pay back money that would be would be lent to us. If you look at what happened last November, the international bond markets raised the rate to nine percent. Why did they raise their rate to nine percent? Because they believe that this state will not be able to pay back money that's lent to them. They believe that we won't be able to pay it back because we have taken on all the private debt within the banks. Our debt to GDP ratio has gone through the roof, so they have put up our interest rates to, to protect them in case that we can't pay it back. So what did we do in the interim? What did we do in the interim? We took on 67.5 billion euro of additional debt. The reality is that unless we deal with that major problem, then this state will be forced into a default. And what Sinn Féin is saying, let's deal with it in an orderly manner now that the bondholders who invested into private banks did not invest in the state. They invest in private banks, and if the investment paid off, they would have got a return. The investment didn't pay off, and we cannot, the people of Ireland cannot be their insurance policy. We just want to do a deposit outflow, though, if you well, the ECB are actually providing a, a bit more than that. There, and there has been, there has been in the last year, um, 60 billion euro actually leaving our banks in deposit outflows, and, and that, that is the reason why the ECB are <coughs> developing. How you deal with that there, as I said, is you bring in a banking resolution bill where you protect depositors, where you protect depositors and are able to put them into a nationalised guaranteed bank. What we need at the end of this process, and it, it's not a simple process, but there are solutions there. And Sinn Féin aren't the only ones that are saying burn the bondholders. Sinn Féin aren't the, the only, we may be the only party in the earth that are saying that there. But people who won the Nobel Prize on economics are actually arguing the same thing. There are many people out there, wise heads, that are arguing the same thing as Sinn Féin, but the other parties are unwilling to listen because, as Jerry says, it's not wrong decisions. It's about, it's bad decisions and it's based on your political priorities.